Who's there? Freeze! Huh?
Brighton, what's wrong? Brighton, Brighton. There's a locker over there. It's a good place to conceal you. You can also knock out and drag enemy personnel over. There are still bombs in that area that haven't been disposed of. 
Search carefully. No one's going to leave a bomb in a place that easy to reach. It would be more worthwhile to search convoluted areas that can't be reached simply by walking. No one's going to leave a bomb in a... This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, Raiden. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry.
somebody there. Somebody there! Jack. Jack, it must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. Sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? Are you feeling well? I almost threw up a few times. Oh, Jack. But I'm okay. It's not like I'm in this alone. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do you think about when you're diffusing those things? I don't think so much as remember. And I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. I can't let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So, am I a part of what you try not to remember? I was just kidding, but I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is. And I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. Any success? No, not yet. You need to stay alive so you can. Okay, that's a deal. What's up, Jack? Additional bomb.
Right, come in. Right, right. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Jack, is that you?
You're looking pretty good. Yeah? I wonder how Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin is doing. Well, he's doing pretty good, too. Oh, really? I'm glad. Why are you so worried? Huh? About Pliskin. Well, I mean, he's defusing the bombs along with you. If he screws something up, you'll be... I guess so. He'll be all right, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hang in there. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution.
trees. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. What's up, Jack? Hey, Jack. I bet bomb disposal's a lot like starting a relationship. Huh? What are you talking about? Carefully dismantling emotional defenses, 
being on your toes constantly, you know. I guess. Neither of them are my strong point. It's true that you're not the most patient man in the world. <laughs> it's not that. I like to leave things as they are. Are you afraid of what might be hidden inside? Not afraid, just unwilling to deal with complications. Like me? You're... Hey, Jack? Yeah? Do you know why I took this job? Mm. I wanted to see what you were really like. But we've been together a while. You know me already. No, you never let me in past a certain point. And I yeah, need real. to know what's there. <sighs> oh, are you trying to take me apart now? Hey, it's not important. Good luck, Jack. reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Ryden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. What? He called it right. I knew he had the real thing. They're sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Bliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Huh. So many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. 
I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield, and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for Peg Leg Peter. He's gone for good. Unable to find the A1 soldier. Nothing else to report. Higape! Stay on lookout for the intruder!
trees. <gasps> The last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. 
The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, right? I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. in the safe I was hiding in, in the strut C pantry. Fetch it. Somebody there. Bomb. I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! It's Pliskin! It. What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down. What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right. The one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right. Move. Get to the bottom of strut A now. Thank you. 
Raiden, Pliskin, listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high, but the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the President. Get back to the upper level. Roger that.
Take it easy.